It looks like there are some new features coming in with Season 3 for Halo Infinite that I think will greatly improve the gameplay experience. For training mode, you'll get a great addition of being able to choose specific modes that you want to play out so you can actually test out your skills and abilities and tactics in specific modes. The ones showcased here are Attrition, Elimination, CTF, Neutral Bomb, Oddball, One Flag, CTF, Slayer, Stronghold, so it looks like just regular Slayer. It could be some other ones mixed in here as well, but we don't see a really an ability to scroll down. The ability to choose modes within training mode is actually something that was talked about before the launch of Halo Infinite, that this was something that was planned that they were going to do, just at the moment they can only do Slayer. So this is a great quality of life improvement that we should see with either Season 3 or a potential drop pod. Now this next feature most likely coming with season three could either be a bug within the preview build or just kind of some leftover code but there is going to be something new with the scoreboard with halo infinite that new option being latency showing up on the scoreboard in this early access build through the data mined version of the co-op flight that we currently have right now it doesn't showcase the actual numbers within the scoreboard i find it odd that they would add latency onto the scoreboard as you can choose your own ui overlay elements to showcase your ping and your frames per second Though I know not everybody selects those options to show up on your screen, sometimes you might not want to see those options on your screen. And if that's the case, showing latency within the scoreboard might actually be a great addition. Will they actually show ping numbers or will they just show bars? We'll have to wait and see until we get some actual information from 343 because this is all data mine stuff. 